How's it going everyone? Hope y'all are having a great day. Welcome to another ARC bonus. And today we're going to be discussing those itty bitty little shoulder pads that in the wild you see them uh, just walking around on the black sands right outside the redwoods, you know, sometimes in the jungle uh over by the green obelisk and you see them just walking minding their own business and suddenly they stick their arms out and run away from you and then make a 180 run back at you stun you and then chew on your face and then when you go back to recover your corpse they do it again yeah those dudes the microraptor the big itty, the miniature big pain in the butt dudes. You see one, and next thing you know, you see 20 million just swarming you like bees. Yeah, those dudes. But uh, today we're going to be talking about, you know, what they can do, how to tame them, where to find them. Well, obviously, I just told you where to find them. The Black Sands, the Redwood, and over by the Green Obelisk. Uh, but... Taming these guys can be a bit of a chore. I mean, they're a straightforward knockout tame. Uh, nothing too big to that. The problem is separating them from their pack. Yeah, that's a bit of a chore, especially since taming pens are out of the question, since they're so small. And since they can jump pretty high and get right out of them. Yeah. So, uh, you got quite a few things you need to do. First of all, you need to bring yourself a shotgun. A really, really good shotgun. Because uh, you're going to have to kill all the other Microraptors you're not interested in taming. Otherwise, they're going to eat your face while you have the one you're interested in taming, Bullet. Uh, second, long neck. Screw the crossbow, screw the bow, screw the slingshot, long neck with trink darts or shocking trink darts. I don't have shocking trink darts made up just yet, so I'm just using the old-fashioned trink darts. But yeah, if you've got shocking trink darts, use those. If not, use these. Don't use a crossbow, you're probably going to kill them. Because uh, they don't have that many hit points. Also no headshots just like the dimorphodon we covered no headshots you're gonna kill them um, also narcotics are a must their torpor plummets so so wicked fast uh, so yeah also something else you're gonna need let's see here grab our narcotics uh, you're also going to need Gilly. So you can get as close to them as possible. Let me put all my other armor away. Uh, so you can get as close to them as possible. As I run out of space for my desert cloth. Well, it needs to be repaired anyway. Ah, don't want my narcotics in there. Give me my narcotics back. Might as well repair you anyway. There we go. Uh, in case I got narcot, actually, I'm gonna bring. You know what? Bring three stacks. Hey, dude. Um, another thing you need is their kibble, which uh, is not your traditional kibble. It is actually rare flower yeah that's these guys preferred kibble rare flower if you don't have any of that raw prime meat don't have any of that uh, regular meat but rare flower is the way to go uh, you can do it with meat but I do not recommend it because um, you want to get in and out as fast as possible also you need to do this on a mount. Not just any mount, 
amount that they will not aggro on. So Thylacolio, Shredder, you're amazing, but dude, uh, yeah. I can't bring you. Nope. Thylacolio are amazing, but they are absolutely out of the question for this one. Um, but I'm going to bring Shredder anyway, uh, because Terror Birds are a thing. And so are Perlovia. So yeah. I'm going to bring you anyway, but that's just me. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and load up my long neck. Make sure it is absolutely ready to go. Um, but yeah, for this, I think I'm going to take... Um, oh, uh, Aqua Girl. Because Microraptor will not aggro on uh, Spinos. And you have horrible weight. But you know what? We're just going to make the best of it. Um, but I'm not going to ride you over there. I think I'm going to... You know what? I'll ride Shredder over there and then I'll throw you out once we get over there. Um, but yeah. You do not want to ride on the back of the Thylacolio because Microraptor, they will aggro on Thylacolio. Um, but they will not aggro on the... Uh, larger, uh, beefier, uh, mounts like Rexes, Spinos, Gigas, Brontos, uh, things like that. They will not aggro on those. Also, uh, oh, uh, Wyverns, you know, things like that they will not aggro on, but they will aggro on, uh, Thylus, which is most unfortunate because you can't equip stuff on the back of a Spino, but, uh, yeah. Spino, I, I definitely choose Spino over Thylacoleo any day when it comes to taming Microraptor. That, that's just my personal preference. Um, I don't know, Troodon. Compies, I don't care about. Troodon, I do. So, Troodon will really screw you over. So, okay, let me find a safe spot. Let me clear out those raptors. Dragonflies. Hey, come here, Raptor. You run away from me? Aha, uh -huh, I think not. Okay. Nothing's gonna come eat me. I hear something get into a fight. Hear another raptor. Try to do me a favor, kick that raptor's butt. Fine. There we go. But yeah, see a spino, nothing will aggro on uh, a spino unless you smack it. That was not a very good demonstration. I was hoping it would have more hit points than that. But yeah, nothing will aggro on a Spino. Uh, unless you uh, smack it. I'm going to leave that meat on you because you were definitely going to get into some... Uh, definitely going to get into some trouble here soon. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not seeing any Microraptor. And this is a good spot for Microraptor. If you're looking for Microraptor, uh, this right here, 
It's a really, really good... Let me take off my gloves. This is probably going to get aggro, but... This right here. Follow that river. That is a good spot for Microraptor. Um... Okay. Now, to find them. Okay, Microraptors, they'll fight anything. Uh, if it aggros on them, they will fight back. Or they will run. Sometimes they run, sometimes they fight back. 90% of the time, they'll fight back. But see, notice how all of these guys are not aggroing uh, on us. See, look at that right there. No aggro whatsoever. So, a good rule of thumb. There we go. Clear those bugs out. Uh, if it does, if it aggro's on a Thyla, uh, don't ride it. Whatever uh, raptors aggro on. If, if regular raptors aggro on it, micro raptors will aggro on it. That's a good rule of thumb. Uh, same with terror birds. If terror birds aggro on it, chances are so will the microraptor. Okay. And the only reason the raptor kicking that spinos buzz because that spino started. It. Take that. I will drop the rest of that. Since we have plenty of rare flower. Oh, I see one. Oh, wow. I see three. Okay, but see, notice how they're not aggroing at all. What level are y'all? Okay, and they're mate boosted, so that could be bad. Okay, so I need to clear it and get rid of the Bronto, because the Bronto could be a problem. Oh, and I smacked one. So all the others may come aggro on me now. Oh, I see one all by itself. Are you by yourself, dude? You are. Okay. Awesome. Okay. And a Microraptor that's all by itself, that is pure luck. Hey, Carno, come here. I got a gank you, dude. Okay. Okay, terror birds, y'all gotta go. For demonstration purposes. Okay. Yeah, as long as... No, no, no! Okay, kill that Calicotherium, Microraptor. Oh, no, it killed the Microraptor. Okay, that sucks. Uh... Yeah, Microraptor, they will uh, pick fights, even though they know they're going to lose the fight. They'll still pick it. Okay, so I guess we'll have to go to these guys back over here. Okay, don't see the others. That does not mean they are all dead. Okay, I don't see anything else. Uh, 
Okay, now I gotta be very careful about this. Oh, I see another one. Okay. See? And body shots with these dudes. Okay, now we're just gonna be ready for his buddy. And we have got to pay very close attention to our surroundings. So much so that I... Yep. Look at how fast his torpor is going down. That is why... Yeah. That's why you use... Uh... Oh, uh, tranquilizer darts. And now we're nice and safe up on the Spino. So, now that we have a Microraptor, what do we do with it? Uh, well, I'll tell you what you do with it. First of all, you get an awesome screenshot with it. Uh, second of all, you pay attention to your surroundings and make sure another one does not show up to smack you. Now, these guys, they will only stun you they will only stun you if you are mounted on your dino. So if you see a Microraptor run up to you, jump off your dino, and it cannot stun you. It can still use its bite attack, uh, but it cannot stun you, which is pretty cool. Unlike a Perlovia, uh, that is pretty cool. Well, 56, ooh, we can get eggs from that one. Okay. Okay, how to make sure she does not aggro on me. His Microraptor eggs can be used for kibble. Yeah. Hey girl. And usually they just take one shot, which is pretty cool. Okay, now since we're using a uh, rare flower, she shouldn't need narcotics. But it's a good rule of thumb to bring them with you just in case. Because their food goes down wicked fast, but so does their torpor. Oh, and I hear something running. Okay, there we go. Alright. So, we got two Microraptor. We got a male and we got a female. Uh, which isn't really important, but hey. Uh, so, now that we have Microraptor, what do we do with it? Well... Uh, they are more PvP oriented, uh, critters. So, uh, yeah, PvE, they don't really have much use except for kibble. Uh, their eggs, I believe, are used for regular kibble? Simple or regular, I cannot recall which one. Um,. But that's their main use for PvE, is uh, their eggs. But uh, for PvP, you can whistle them to attack your enemy. They can stun your enemy, dismount them. Yeah, these guys, if you get really good imprinted Microraptors, yeah, they can be a nightmare. 
uh, for other players. And Micro Raptors, they are such a nightmare. Uh, you actually have to deal with them in the tech cave. Yeah, that's how insanely tough these guys are. You have to kick their butt in the tech cave. You have to deal with level 4, 5, and 600 of these. And you saw that they didn't deal too much damage to me. Uh, hey, Terror Bird. Layer Terror Bird. Okay, what level is that one? If it's low level, I will show you what I mean. By stun. Level 8, perfect. Okay, and I don't see anything else that's going to come over and eat me. I see piranha, but we are not in the water. But yeah, let me show you their stun. So, hopefully I don't get killed by this, but I'm going to have to whistle. Hey dude, watch this. Here we go. Yeah, 10 second stun attack. Yeah. My heroes. Yeah. 10 second stun attack. Perlobia stun attack, it's 8 seconds. These guys, it's 10 seconds. And you have to deal with packs of them. Perlovia only come one at a time. Yeah. And how much damage did my armor take? Not too bad. Um, but yeah. And you got... Oh. Claw shoes. Okay, I'll take those. Um, but, yeah, let's get back to base after we kill Gallimimus. And uh, just uh, get a better look at these guys. Get a better close-up of them. So I will see you guys uh, in just a bit. Okay, so now that we're back at base and we can get a better uh, look at these guys. Here we go. Let's get a better look at you. And let's throw you out as well. So, yeah. They're pretty cool looking dudes. Creepy looking, but pretty cool as well. Now these guys, after you tame them up, they'll eat raw meat. Uh, they'll still eat rare flour, but if you don't want to feed them rare flour, uh, they'll still eat meat. And let me put this away. But uh, depending on how you want to use them, uh, depends on how you want to level them. I normally just use them just go ahead and get you back out there uh, I normally just use them as uh, living storage boxes like most shoulder pets um, yeah so when I level these guys up I go usually pump the first two into health I usually try to get their health up to six or seven hundred because I don't want them dying on me and then after that uh, everything else is in the weight yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I use my, uh, is there plenty of meat in here? Yes. All right, there's plenty of meat in here for you, too. Uh, no, you're the male, you're the female. So when she starts, uh, pooping out eggs, I'm just going to start putting them in here, I believe. And as I said before, I believe it's either simple or regular. Leave it simple. We'll go with that. Just like uh, raptor eggs. So, because they're more uh, difficult to obtain, I think that's why their kibble is a little more advanced. Even though their eggs are smaller than raptor eggs, um, these guys are uh, more difficult to tame than a raptor. So, well, didn't mean to do that. Uh, so, yeah. But I think that's going to do it with the Microraptor. Uh, yeah, these guys, 
They can be your besties, they can be your worst enemy, or they can just be indifferent depending on how you play the game. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.